SAPI is a global company focused on providing chemicals, cellulose, paper pulp and paper based solutions to its direct and indirect customer base across more than 100 countries. It has a market cap of 15.9 billion rand and a price to earnings ratio of 49.5. It currently pays no dividends. SAPI, we have a bit of a fall there in the share price from mm. that 80 rand level to currently where we are tracking around about 30 something. Look, ironically, if you go back a decade, SAPI and SAB Miller were companies that were sort of similarly important. They both had head offices in Bramfontein. They were both on top of their game. They had well-spoken, outspoken CEOs. In the SAPI case, Eugene van Us. They both went global at around about the same time as South African companies were able to do so after 94. Terrible uh, story, though, by comparison, because where SAB Miller got it right, SAPPI, SAPI, was perceived to be buying assets just as they sort of went out of favour. So they bought Scott Paper, big producer of fine coated wood free paper. That's the glossy stuff in glossy magazines. And we all know what's happening to their circulation stats. Is this share price going one way from current levels? It looks to be. I mean, there, it, there are moves now that the company is moving away from, you know, some of the older businesses and moving towards more, you know, wood pulp production. They say that's going to be the new kind of thing to go forward. They have spent a lot of money on that. They ref, like, you know, retool some of their plants, etc. That is something that could, in the future, perhaps turn around the story. But right now, it does seem to be heading in one direction. So to clarify, I mean, that's chemical cellulose, which is a wood-based product which gets used in all sorts of industrial applications. It kind of gets blended in in order to make everything from like brake pads to, uh, I don't know, toothbrushes or something. And tablets and whatnot. So, I mean, that's the future of the business, but they still have sizable operations in A4 paper manufacturing in, you know, they've got timber forests, as we know, in this country. The trouble is but they it's went... It's a general trend with paper, isn't it, that we're talking about here? And remember, they also went into Europe and bought Impact and bought a bunch of other things up there, not Impact, M something yeah, or other, Impact M-Rail. Impact was unbundled M-Rail. from Mundi. Mundi. In order to try and kind of be a consolidator in Europe in the coated wood-free paper environment whilst that industry was declining. But they're a junk bond issuer. They've got a lot of debt. The cash flows are still okay-ish. I it sounds know. like a depressing story. Is there any hope to the upside? What would create a re-rating in the stock? Look, if, if the new operations, the, the tools, as we mentioned, the wood pulp business does start to take off here. There are a lot of applications. It is a higher, you know, margin. What are business. the chances that that side of the business uh, will take off? We have to see. We have to wait and see. It's that's the kind of thing. If you wouldn't take a punt, it's a great price to get into it. But the trend so far has not been good. If you're holding the stock, what would you be doing? If you currently are entrenched in, I'd probably be still be holding on to it at the just moment. Case, just in case that cellulose business kicks up. And the other thing about them is the RAND, you know, because they've got substantial offshore earnings and they've got offshore debt, but they uh, sell products which are priced on global markets, you know, in cellulose, paper pulp, all that kind of stuff. So there is a RAND based issue. So as the RAND has moved out to 920 and thereabouts, the stock has actually lifted from 25 to close to 30. So you wouldn't have made any money being short them lately. But for me, it's one of those stocks which I like to think of as a long-term secular short, similar to British America Tobacco, <laughs> because the business just looks like it's running out of road. A long-term secular short. <laughs> mm-hmm. What about the value managers? We know he's a growth manager. What about the value managers? Are they sharing a little mm-hmm. love for Sappy? I wouldn't call this a value stock. This is more of a punt. You, you've taken a punt on a, on a revamped business, and you never really know what's going to happen until it really starts taking off. So if you want to take a punt and think this is a business that's going to grow in the future, maybe. But for a value manager, this is a bit too risky. I Just because the business model yeah. is not going to stand up to the test of time. I want to throw another thing in there. High degree of debt. Okay, So that means from time to time they have to roll over their debt. When they did so last, it didn't look good. You know, It was done at rates which were at a substantial premium to European sovereigns. But if credit markets, as they have been around the world, ease up and there's more demand for high yield paper, that's one of the issues that could advantage SEPI because they could lower their cost of funding even while they're kind of dodging the monthly and uh, annual debit payments. Hot or not on SEPI? No, not hot for me. I think the industry is in trouble and uh, this one uh, is a sort of could go either way type situation. Viv, hot or not? Uh, not on this 